happy Monday. I can't believe we are already into October. I have an amazing workout for you guys today. We are gonna be doing a five exercise dumbbell workout where all you need is one set of dumbbells. So we're gonna go ahead and start out with our warm up. So for today, we're gonna to start out with our half kneeling hip flexor. So with this one today, I want you to tuck your hip underneath, squeeze your glute. We're gonna go hands on the head and we're gonna do a slight rotation. We're gonna focus on keeping our shoulders pinched back as we rotate. So we don't wanna end up doing this with our shoulders forward and we wanna keep our chest really tall. You're gonna feel a stretch to the back of your shoulder blades. You're also gonna feel a stretch to your core and front of that hip flexor right there. So you're gonna go ahead and do this exercise eight times on each side, then switch to the other side, same thing. Tuck your hip underneath, squeeze your glute hands back behind your shoulders, tight chest, opening up the elbows, and it's a really small rotation. So we're doing that really small, tiny rotation. You're gonna feel a stretch through your shoulders, through your hip flexor again, eight times on each side. Moving on, we're gonna go onto your hands and knees. So on your hands and knees, we're gonna do our, um, opening up our shoulders here. It's called our T-spine rotation. Hand goes behind the head. Elbow comes into the other elbow. And then we're going to open up. So we're going to open up the back of the shoulder. The shoulder blade should be going down and back. Feeling that really good stretch to the back of the shoulder. So if any of you guys sit at a desk, or if you're like me and you're a nursing mom, you're going to really love this stretch because it's going to be the back of your shoulder opening up your back of your shoulder blades. Eight of those on each side. Next one we're going to do, it's called our fire hydrants. This is going to warm up our hips. Um, this is super important to help keep your knees healthy. So these small muscles in our hips actually really, really help stabilize our knees. So we're just going to be flat back, knee goes out to the side, small lift, and then back down. So we're going to do eight of these on each side. Notice I'm not wrenching my back all the way over. I'm just that small lift. So I'm really focusing right here, my glute, my outer glute. It's called your glute medius. Focusing there, and then you're going to go ahead and same thing, other side, switch in, other side, lifting up, small lifts each time, eight of those on each side. Flipping on over onto your back, we're going to do our glute bridges. This one's one of my favorites. So palms are going to be facing up, feet are planted firmly on the ground, tuck your back flat into the mat, palms facing up, lift up, squeeze your glutes, and then come back down. Tuck your back, so I'm tucking my back underneath. Lift up, squeeze your glutes, and then back down. So tuck, squeeze, lift, and back down. Tuck, squeeze, lift, and back down. Okay, eight of those, and then we're gonna flip on over, and we're gonna do something I call our alternating runner stretch. So this one's kind of tricky, you guys. We're gonna pop up onto our hands and toes. I'm gonna come facing you this way. Up onto your hands and toes, and we're gonna bring one hand towards your foot, okay? So if you are having trouble with this and you're like, I cannot keep my back leg straight, go ahead and drop onto your knee in the back and then you can just feel that really good stretch. This is a really good stretch for your inner thighs. It's gonna stretch out your groin. We're gonna go ahead and do the other side. So here, same thing. If you need to pop down to that knee, no problem. If you can keep in that firm position, keep in that firm position. And then we're gonna switch sides. So you're gonna go ahead and do eight of these on each side as we alternate back and forth, really feeling that really good stretch. This is gonna help you get deeper into your squats. This is gonna help your lunges. It's gonna help everything and your body just feel better. Okay, so after you've done your eight of those, we are gonna move into our straight leg squat to stand, okay? So here's what this is gonna look like from the side. We're gonna hinge at the waist, feeling the stretch of the back of the hamstrings, grab a hold of the toes. We're gonna pull ourselves down and then we're gonna go back up to our straight legs, okay? So you're gonna go straight legs, pull yourself down, and then back up. I'm gonna show you this one from the front as well because you're gonna go straight legs. And one thing I see a lot of is people come into what I call a turtleneck. So I want you to take your turtleneck off, your head is high, and then go back into your straight legs, okay? Coming down, head is high, smiling at me because smiling makes you feel better when you're working out. Press and back through those heels. Again, eight of those. Then we're gonna move into our Frankenstein kicks. I love these. So, planting one foot firmly on the ground. The other foot comes back, 
are. We've got Halloween coming up here. I don't know what everyone's doing for Halloween, crazy COVID, but um, we got Halloween, so we're gonna practice our uh, Frankenstein kicks. So one leg comes back, the other leg comes up, kicking it as high as you can, feeling a really good stretch through the back of your hamstring, finding your balance on the opposite leg. If you need a little extra support with this guy, same thing, use the wall, okay? No problem using the wall. So same thing, coming back, coming forward, back and forward. Feel the stretch, eight of those on each side. And our last one today, we're gonna do our um, side to side lunges. I'm gonna go ahead and move my mat, it's kinda getting in my way. So we're gonna move that over here. So side to side, we're gonna start here, planting firmly, pushing out to the side, doing a half squat on one side, stepping together, half squat on the other side, stepping together, alternating back and forth. So remember all 10 toes are pointing forward, keeping this leg as straight as you can, feeling that really good stretch through your inner thigh. So we're alternating side to side, pushing your hips back towards the back wall. Okay, awesome you guys, we're gonna move into our workout, okay? For this workout, I want you guys to download the Gym Boss app. I love the Gym Boss app, super simple, super easy to use. Download the Gym Boss app and I want you to set up a workout that is 20 second, or 30 seconds on, 20 seconds rest for five rounds, okay? So we're gonna be doing 30 seconds on, 20 seconds rest, five rounds, and I'm gonna have you take a minute and a half rest, so 90 seconds rest in between rounds, okay? The goal is that you can do three to five rounds. So this workout could be 15 minutes, this workout could be 25 minutes, depending on um, how many rounds you're getting through, okay? For our first exercise, we're gonna be doing a dumbbell or kettlebell swing. So I have dumbbells today, so I'm gonna be using a dumbbell, but if you have a kettlebell at home, you can also use a kettlebell. So what we're gonna be doing for our first exercise, the kettlebell or dumbbell swing, I want you to place your dumbbell out in front of you, so you're doing a triangle with your toes. And if you want more details on how to do a perfect kettlebell swing, you can go ahead and follow my how to do a perfect kettlebell swing or dumbbell swing on um, YouTube. But we're gonna go ahead and grab a hold of our weight. We're gonna hike it back like you're hiking a football and I want you to squeeze. So squeeze in the glutes, squeeze, squeeze each time. Okay, so big thing with this exercise, I don't want you to be doing what I call a squatty swing. So we're not squatting and lifting. We're really hinging from our hips. So hinge back, squeeze the glutes, hinge back, squeeze the glutes, okay? So that's our first exercise. That's gonna be our first 30 seconds. Next 30 seconds, we're gonna be doing a alternating, you're gonna grab both of your dumbbells. We're gonna be doing an alternating um, side to side lunge with a high pull. So what this looks like, is you're gonna step out to the side, you're gonna straddle your knee with the weights on either side, arms come up high, so elbows come up high, wrists are straight down, out to the other side and back up, okay? So making sure we're not curling our wrists as we do this, also making sure we're pushing our hips back towards the back wall, so all 10 toes are pointing forward and our hips are going back towards the back wall as we go side to side. Next exercise we're gonna be doing is a bent over row. So with this, you're gonna have your two dumbbells, you're gonna go hinging at the waist and you're gonna pull, squeeze both arms back at the same time. So notice I'm not driving my head down, I'm pulling the weights towards my body. Another thing, my weight is in my heels and my back is flat. So I'm pushing my buns out. I don't want you to end up with your rounded back. That's gonna give you some back pain, okay? So butt out, knees bent, squeeze the shoulder blades, pull and back out, okay? Next one, we're gonna do an alternating reverse lunge. So this guy, chest is tall, smile at me. We're gonna go stepping back. So stepping back, pulling up through that front heel, alternating, pulling through the other front heel, alternating, pulling up. As you step back, chest is tall, really thinking about that front leg being the driver, pulling you up each time. For our last exercise in this workout, you're gonna go onto your hands and toes. So on your hands and toes here, I want you to rotate onto the knife after your feet, come back to center, other side, back to center. So you're reaching up, Notice my feet are rolling all the way onto the side of the feet. Hand goes into the middle, rotate onto the other side. Okay, you guys, this workout's gonna be super fun. It's gonna take you 15 
to 25 minutes, depending on how many rounds you do. You're gonna do three to five rounds, 30 seconds on, 20 seconds rest, okay? With 90 seconds rest in between each round, okay? If you love this workout and you try it and you're like, wow, this is really making me feel good, I post new workouts every single week on Monday at YouTube at Kim Kloster, also at Shine Fitness at Kim Kloster, at Shine Fitness on Facebook and Kim Kloster on Facebook. So go ahead and follow me and you can get new workouts every single week.